pop socket is here. Hi guys. I'm super, super excited because today my dad finally is letting me out of the house. So the reason why I really want to get out of the house today is because I want to distribute um, these gift packages that I arranged months ago. So, so on my birthday which was mid-february i basically opened a donation box for anyone who wanted to donate like i wanted to make the donation into gift um packages or like in indonesia it would be known as sambalko um it's a little something that i've been doing since pretty much since i was like maybe 16 when i was in year 11. i used to do it monthly and then um now it's kind of been like a biannual kind of thing after i opened that donation fund um box thing on Instagram I was surprised by so many people who were really really interested in donating I had donators from like my friends in Indonesia and as well as my friends in Australia so yeah I wanted to do this for my birthday but then on the weekend of my birthday which was which is when I wanted to distribute the sambako or the gift packages um, my grandpa actually passed away so I obviously couldn't do that that week so it had to be postponed um, and then I had to work a couple of weekends I think two weekends in a row and then the whole corona thing happened and we were all quarantined so I had been trying to negotiate with my parents well it's more with my dad because he was really the one that was super super worried about me doing this but I managed to negotiate so the deal was that we would be me and him we would be going in the car and then i'd be at the back because that's the uh, procedure anyway at the moment that's um been put by the government so i have to be sitting at the back and then my dad would be sitting at the front like he'd be driving when we actually want to give out the package um we would actually just kind of like drop the i would open the car drop the package two meters away from them and then we'd beep the car and let them know to get the Simbelko or the gift package. I hope that's making sense, but basically I'm not actually going to um, roll down my window and like give it directly to them because um, my dad just found that to be way too risky um, in case they weren't wearing a mask and things like that, like even though I'd be wearing a mask. So I'll be putting it on the side of the road, two meters away from them, and then they'll come and get it. I really really want to grow this into something bigger than just like an internal thing that I do myself and in the past I've kind of encouraged like my closest friends and obviously now I've um, kind of opened it just like on Instagram for anyone who wants to donate but I do want to eventually make this into something more legit something that is um, constant so it's not just something that I do whenever I have spare time because it really, really surprised me how many people wanted to donate and they just, they, they didn't just want to donate, like they were really, really keen and they were really um, happy with the initiative. So if I can be the medium, why not? I already had breakfast, I did like a little workout and I've already showered and then I'm going to get ready. Yes, I am going to wear makeup because I miss it so much. I miss getting ready so much. But yeah, I am going to do that. Another thing I wanted to show in this video was um, I wanted to show a couple of unboxings. I, I got two PR deliveries that I want to unbox. Um, and then I did a couple of online shopping. Nothing big, nothing too exciting. But I've been online shopping a bit because it's just something exciting to look forward to. You know, when a package is coming to your house. <sighs> I'm gonna turn my hair up. I actually haven't done anything to my hair in like in weeks because I just can't be bothered. Okay. So I got this from. I already sprayed everything with disinfectant. The first package, I got it from Originals. This bag is made of recycled paper. Wow, I love the packaging. Okay, so they sent me the Originals Tea Tree Shower Gel. So the brand Originals is an Australian natural skincare brand. And the ingredients are 100% organic tea tree oil 
and the products are also 100% cruelty free and 100% made in Australia. I'm really excited to try this. I want to smell it. Mmm. Oh. So it looks like that. That's 250 ml. So this is what they sent me. This is the tea tree oil in 250 ml. I'm very excited to try this. And then I also got the dust bag here. So cute. So as you can see, it is in 100% organic tea tree oil and made out of 100% cruelty free um, ingredients. It's also made in Australia. And then they sent a note in that envelope. Did this. I can't wait to try it. I'm very excited. The second package. Oh yeah, this one is from Maybelline, New York. Oh, they gave me, I think this is mascara. So I think that's the new mascara. I've never seen this like in shops. So I have been sent the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. So Maybelline, New York sent me this. I can't wait to try this mascara. I'm actually looking for a new mascara. My mascara is running out and I love a new mascara. Is this waterproof? Oh no, it's not. Thank God, waterproof mascaras. They're so um, difficult to, they're very difficult to be removed. I do not like waterproof mascaras, but this is a washable mascara. It is in the color black is black. Very excited. And I did some online shopping. I stocked up on my essential. This is the Bio Oil. I love using this. I use this every time I come out of a shower. This is just in the 125 ml one. I think this is like my third bottle, if I'm not mistaken. And then I bought a couple of accessories for my phone. I have two clear phone cases. Then I got like these sticker things that I can like attach to the back of my phone. Um, can put my mirror not my mirror i can put my phone on the mirror like this and then i can do some like skincare shots and things like that so i got three of that i don't know i think i bought two and then they sent me three maybe one was for free and then i got this from the case by oh i bought this from the case bible id which is like an an online shop in indonesia I got this thing. I got a pop socket. I'm so late on this bandwagon, but I just really want a pop socket. Like, I can't explain it enough. I've wanted one for months. So, the reason why I bought two clear front cases was because I'm going to use one for my pop socket, and then I'm going to use one for the sticker. Because the current phone case that I have is this one from the Daily Edit It. So it's like leather. I don't want to damage it with the pop socket. And then the last thing that I bought was this. I already took it out of the box. Wait, like, because the box was huge. So I had to throw it out. And I already sprayed this with disinfectant. But I got like a skincare tray. Because I want to put that on my like vanity on my makeup table. For all my skincare products to be like in one spot. I'm going to do that right now actually. So before, after, I don't use everything in here actually, like I'm not really using that at the moment, I'm not using this Tatcha serum either at the moment, but, and I'm not using good jeans as well actually, that's because I've been using the, because I've been using the Drunk Elephant TLC instead as the exfoliator. But these, like, it's really packed at the moment because these products that are opened, um, they're gonna become expired within the next, like, three months. So I do want to finish using them. I just put on the pop socket. I feel like my life has really changed. <laughs> it's just so much nicer to hold my phone that way. So I wanted to show you what's inside the Sambelco or the gift packages. So each person they're going to be getting two kilos of rice. And then this is, I think, one liter of cooking oil, one kilogram, is it one kilogram? 
Yes, one kilogram of white sugar. This is washing detergent for clothes. That's a water bottle, towel, and then there's um, some tea, just regular black tea, and then two bars of soap, and then toothpaste, some toothbrushes, and then this is like a um, whole can of cookies and sweets and coffee as well. So that's everything that one person is going to get. Normally I wouldn't include a towel, a water bottle and like sweets. I would just kind of stick to the very bare minimum or like just very basic stuff. But because a lot more people donated this time around, I was able to put more things in it. But yeah, I thought a towel and a water bottle will really come in handy and I'll always, I just, I want to get something that would, um, I guess, sustain. Cause like all the other things like sugar, oil, rice and all that stuff, they're obviously going to run out at some point. But yeah, just wanted something that's going to last with them for a while. I'm putting them in these two tote bags because I feel like, because I tried putting everything in one bag and it was just too heavy. And I also got these bags for them so they can reuse it. I didn't want to just like give out plastic bags. I feel like I should also mention that whenever I do these things, I always look for gardeners, uh, rubbish pickers, basically anyone who is of age so someone a little bit older but they are still working and working in like in an informal sort of job um i was a little bit gutted that i couldn't do this like around my birthday which i because i normally do that every other year but now that i think about it like the postponement or like the delay of this has actually kind of happen at a perfect time because now that now that the whole pandemic and quarantine is happening during um this time everyone is staying at home so it's actually become a lot more difficult for these people to survive especially with people who like sell um food informally so like those people who sell street food um on like food vendors like it's just become a lot harder for them because everyone's like at home and no one's really going out and about <sighs> I'm sweating like hell. Just loaded 20 bags into the car. So one person's gonna get two bags each. Where are we gonna go? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back home, I've cleaned up and everything. God, I'm freaking disgusting. It definitely went really, really, really well. I think my favorite part about doing all of this is like the moment they receive the package or this mako, they have like this huge smile, and you can just see how much weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. And like, you know, it's such a small act, like, it's kind of temporary help as well like this is not obviously a long-term solution to helping with inequality but but i think it definitely helps them and it eases their pain a little bit and honestly i cannot thank everyone who donated enough any one of you who donated are like watching this at the moment like thank you thank you so much for donating i really hope i can like do this again and continue and 
and I hope I can grow this into something bigger and something I, I just I really hope one day I can like legitimize it um but yeah I'm very very happy at the moment um back to quarantine life but yes thank you so much everyone for watching and I hopefully will see you in the next one bye